Hey YouTube, Creepercrawler87 coming at you. Hey, today we're going to go over how to put a GeoTracker front locker in. Uh, it sounds simple, but nobody actually sells one. Uh, if you guys are coming to this video, you probably know that. Uh, there is a way to put a GeoTracker, correction, a Suzuki Samurai locker, or it's also used as a tracker rear locker, in the front of a GeoTracker with just a few modifications. Uh, I'll get the part numbers here for you and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so the first thing you need to know is the part number of the locker that we're actually going to be using for this. It is a Lockrite 1510LR. Um, if you guys are familiar with them, there's two different styles of Lockrites, full replacement and ones that reuse the factory side gears. You need the style that reuses the factory side gears. Uh, there could be some other lockers that also work with this application, but the only one I've personally done it with and can tell you it works awesome is a Lockrite 1510LR. Alright, so the second piece of information you're going to need, and the second part, is you're going to need a Samurai differential carrier. The Samurais have a 4-pin. Uh, this is a side view. This is uh, from the top, I guess, looking down into it. Um, they have a 4-pin differential carrier. So they have, or technically it's a 3-pin. So one, two, three pins. It's a 4-pinion carrier design. The Geo Trackers they have a single pin, a two pinion carrier design. So the Geo Tracker carrier looks something like this. I'm not really the best artist. Um, it comes down and kind of swoops in, um, and there's just the two pins in there. Um, let me draw in the side gear so you can see. So you're going to have your side gears in here, side gear right here, and then little spider gears here, and then over here, kind of the same deal. I have a side gear here. Side gear here, and then pinion gears right there. So that's your differential. So it's your the differential housing, the part the ring gear, ring gear bolts on right here, right? So and then your pinion to be like right here. Um, oh yeah, you need the samurai one of these samurai carrier. You don't need samurai ring gear, pinion, none of that crap. Just the differential carrier. You don't want to discard this because you need to get these side gears out of here because they're made different than the Samurai ones. They'll work in the housing just fine, but you need these ones because they're made to retain the CV shafts. So, step one, get by the locker. Step two, find a Samurai carrier. These are a stronger carrier than the tractor ones anyway, so you're doubling up on your upgrades. All right, so this is not a bolt-in swap. What we need to do is you'll have to get this board out at your local machine shop. This isn't something you can do at your house unless you have a lathe. So what needs to be modified is this part. So we got our, this is the differential carrier uh, out of the Samurai. You have to take off the ring gear, take off this because you don't modify this part. This part opens it up unless you install the differential. And what you actually have to do is bore out this backside, your CV axle, you know, I'm drawing with one hand here, guys, so cut me a little slack. CV axle will drop in just like that. Here's your CV axle coming down that way. Here's your cup. Here's where it goes into the differential. So you have to bore out this hole that the CV slides into out to just a couple thousandths larger than what your CV shaft outside diameter of this part right here is. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory, but, you know, this will actually have a little nub here. But... Bore that out straight through. That's the only machine work you have to do to it. So the next part is basically just like assembling any other locker, just follow the directions. Just make sure that you use the side gears out of the tracker. Tracker side gears, and then you know, so you got your tracker side gear here, you got your tracker side gear over here. Then you put your locker in and it'll take the place of your other plates there, it'll drop in, and then you'll have your pins here pins here coming down to drop into it so it will be a combination of samurai and tracker parts then just put your tracker ring gear on and the rest is pretty self-explanatory well guys i know that wasn't like a, a whole walkthrough um as far as a step-by-step -step of exactly how to do this but uh it does take a little bit of knowledge it takes a little bit of machine work this isn't something you can just go out in your garage and do um by yourself you're gonna have to take that part and get it machined if you haven't put a locker in anything before uh watch a bunch of videos on how to install lockers they're not hard but they do have to be put together in a very particular order 
Um, make sure you have the springs and the pins where they're supposed to go and all that good stuff. So this isn't so much a how to install a front locker uh, video step by step. It's the exact what you have to do to make a locker work in the front of a geo tracker with machine work. Uh, they don't make one that just drops in. Uh, there are a couple companies out there that uh, sell them ready to go. Um, I think you can get them on low range. I'm pretty sure uh, it's Trail Tough. I believe they modify a factory housing to use them. But I can tell you that this works. I have it in the front of my tracker. It works great. Um, I When I was doing this, I found a couple write-ups um, where people had said that it could be done, but nobody said exactly what had to be machined and where it needed to be machined at, what parts you needed to use. Uh, it took me a little bit of playing with it to figure out what side gears I needed to use to make the CVs stay in. Uh, you could use the Samurai side gears, but the CV axles won't stay in. There's a retainer cut into the tracker side gears that keeps the CVs where they're supposed to go. So make sure you keep those. Uh, if you guys have any questions, post them up. Uh, I try to stay pretty close to my YouTube channel. I haven't been putting out a lot of videos here lately, but uh, if you post them up, if it's a question I can help you with, I'll answer it as quick as I can. Thanks guys. Uh, if this video helped you out, please thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Uh, share it around. You know, the more people that know this stuff, the better we can build these trackers and uh, the more fun we can have with them. So uh, like, comment, subscribe guys.